So it's three in the morning, you wake up cold, and your furnace is failing, and you get a code of 63 or 64 because your pressure switch has failed. Really typical, they fell at the worst time. They could fail because of the seal. I've had these seals break. I've had the inside diaphragm break. So this pressure switch is what it does. It takes incoming pressure and it's calibrated. Each one is different for the furnace, but it takes that pressure and it closes the switch. When this is not being used, these contacts are normally open. After it gets pressure, these contacts close. Your furnace wants to make sure these aren't closed ahead of time. So it's constantly looking at them, checking that they're not closed. It then turns on the inducer, and you hear that, that loud whining sound on your furnace. And this makes sure that the air is flowing through the exchanger, it's very important. It also collects any moisture that might happen when the output is exhausted. But there is a tap on here, you can't see, and that tap is what goes to the pressure switch. So this runs, the inducer kicks on, and there's a vacuum created. So this is a drain, which is getting water from your outside uh, water collection tube. But there's a tap right there, and that will trigger the pressure switch. Now it doesn't trigger it immediately because it has to build up vacuum, and that's what the computer on the furnace wants, and all, all of them are the same. Now that pressure switch is located on this furnace, right there you can see it right there now you see it's not connected but yet my furnace is working because what I did here is I designed a circuit when the inducer comes on I tap off the power right here really simple with a 12 volt transformer and it goes to this little circuit board I'm going to show you a close-up of it so this little simple circuit I put on the uh, circuit board it's all hand soldered has a relay and delay capacitors and one transistor and I'm using an old um, pressure switch just to hold it where the contacts are right there so my furnace has been working for days without the real pressure switch right there connect you can see it's not connected at all so I'm doing this to test the concept and it's worked flawlessly I'm gonna have a schematic of this and keep in mind this is a temporary fix this is when you have your pressure switch failing and you don't have another one on hand this is not something to bypass it because the pressure switch is very safe because that is going to be uh, monitoring the pressure from the inducer to make sure that you have inducer pressure and you're passing the air through the heat exchanger you don't want a fire or problems like that so this is just a temporary fix when you have this issue happen and like I said it happens at 3 o'clock in the morning you're freezing and you don't have another pressure switch so I'm gonna have a schematic for this circuit and I'll try and locate the parts on Amazon for you but it's pretty basic circuit and you should be able to build this and have this as a backup for when you have that pressure switch fail